tournament here. Friday practice. Man, we had uh, we had close to 12 pounds, and we really wasn't trying to catch fish. Um, uh, we had uh, four frog bites. Uh, I caught one on a uh, jackhammer, and then my son brought a a Guggen clickbait. Guys, this is an amazing product they have out. We was in this nasty grass stuff on the Coosa River. This clickbait, I, I don't recall one time he had to stop and pull the grass off of this clickbait. Not only does it come through the grass, unbelievable. All of the fish that we literally got in the boat except one was on the clickbait. We only had one of the clickbaits. I had several jackhammers. I had some thunder crickets. We fished worms, swim jigs, everything. Every fish except one came on that clickbait from Guggen. I don't know what it was, guys. It, it was just an amazing. It was uh, it was the one that had the gold blade. It had some orange and white and skirt. Um, yeah, man, that that's a really really good bait. But um, between practice day and tournament day, which was today, I'm on the I'm on the drive home now. The weather was uh, close to the same both days except uh, today we had um, um, wind and just a little bit of sunshine every once in a while and that was it. Temperature was the same, uh, kind of overcast. The sun would peak out maybe for 10 or 15 minutes and go back in but the wind was pretty rough. So uh, we ended up today we ended up with 6.33 pounds, and 3.33 was a, um, a fish, a spotted bass that Scott caught. Yesterday, Scott caught one, that uh, four-pounder, caught a couple of three-pounders uh, off the clickbait, and, uh, and they just would not bite anything except that clickbait. And I, I didn't have one. I, I didn't catch a fish all day long. And I only caught one yesterday, and that was on the jack camera. It was a, uh, a red and black jack camera. The, the blade was painted red and black as well. That was the only thing I caught. Um, the only thing we weighed, like I say, we weighed in, I think, 6.33 pounds. Uh, I think the uh, we ended up in 16th place. Uh, the 15 pounds one determined. I think 5 545 was a big fish, big spot, spotted bass. Man, these spots are strong, man. Man, they, they just fight in that current. Um, but we didn't we didn't do too good. I, I, but one of the big things is is my son brought his nine inch Lorance which hooked right up to where my five inch Lorance, all the same wiring and everything. Uh, we had no C maps, man. I mean, no contour lines on anything. We had four graphs, we didn't have no contour lines. First time us being at Lay Lake, it ain't really a lake, it's a river. And there was something floating in the water today that looked like a bathtub or a refrigerator. I, I mean, it's amazing. And y'all are going to see in the video, I, I hit a stump and I just knew for sure that I had put a hole in the boat. I, I thought my lower e unit was gone. Um, and guys, when, when I s tell you what's happened during the tournament and things that's happened, I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm not complaining at all. I, I'm just letting you guys know what's happened during the tournament. Um, for some reason, he called tech support, Lawrence tech support, and uh, he was on the phone for about an hour and a half with him. And 
that they couldn't figure out why we didn't have contour lines because we did have them for about an hour or so when we got there they was everything was working fine uh, we was able to get around but guys this is a very very dangerous place we hit we hit stumps twice one of them I just it, we hit one so hard I turned around and started going to the shoreline because I, I was for sure there was a hole in the boat and what freaked me out so bad was as soon as I hit it I turned around and looked at the bells pump and it was pumping water I, I think it was just a coincidence though because I had uh, overfilled my live wells and that really scared me at first so I got my thoughts together and, and realized that we didn't have a hole. I looked in the drain of the floor. We had a hole in the boat. You could see water in that drain coming up in that drain as well. So it wasn't a hole. And actually, when we pulled the boat out of the water, uh, it was just some, some scratches on the bottom of the boat, which, which that happens, I know. So um, at, at the end of the day, we, we started flipping some docks, trying some dock stuff. We kind of started scooting back towards the ramp. And about 30 minutes from the ramp, my throttle cable broke on the boat. Which wasn't no big deal, man. Things happen, you know. You can't get upset about it. 20-year-old boat, I'm sure. Actually, it's 22 years old now. I'm sure the throttle cable's never been changed out. I, I changed the motor out last year. I, I didn't change the throttle cable out, though. So we'll, we'll be doing that uh, here in the next few days. Um, but, yeah, 6.33 pounds. Uh... Man, guys, if y'all have a tournament on lay, they call it a lake, and uh, but I, very little bit of it is a lake. It is the Akusa River, and a very, very dangerous place to fish, especially after uh, we had storms uh, with tornadoes in it and everything. So guys, I mean, we had a good time. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about river fishing, fishing current, uh, uh, and, and I guess I'd be more confident about it if we had the contour lines and we could tell, you know, where these river channels and, and everything was. But I, I'm going to get me, I think I'm going to get me a, a Garmin, I think it's a 9.3 SV. Uh, Kevin on Gunfish TV just uh, put two on his boat and... Uh, uh, thanks, Kevin, for putting that video out if you ever watch this. But um, uh, I believe that's what I'm going to go with. And uh, I'm going to, I want to buy something that I can fish, uh, eventually put the, uh, uh, the live scope on. And, uh, but man, you know, I, I'm not, I have, I'm not having been too satisfied with these Lawrence units because I got a five inch and I, 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 it's never worked right since I've had it. I, I got it from my brother, and I mean, no, I got it from my son, and it was practically new. He only used it a few times, and I don't know, man. Maybe it's way up place the the, uh, the transducer on it or something. But uh, I'm gonna go with the Garmin uh, 93 SV, and two of them, and then hopefully uh, before long I can get. Uh, I can get the live scope put on them as well. So guys, appreciate you watching the video. Know that again, I know there wasn't many fish catches, but this is the year of learning. I'm learning this stuff, learning how to do it. So guys, again, I appreciate you watching the uh, episode here. And uh, uh, thanks for tuning in to RPO TV. That's Real Paw Outdoors. Thanks guys.